So thank you for the presentation. Um, I would like to bring like another issue in a little uh, regarding privacy because we are now so inefficient with the web also because everyone collects our data. We are in every database. We are like in so many different uh, di digital personas. Would it be better, do you think, if we just had one official digital persona and no privacy anymore? Uh, to, to decrease the... Because we have our data in many places, so if we want to decrease the ICT use or, or uh, IT use, uh, yes, traffic use, just decrease the data. <laughs> this kind of reasoning. Hmm? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> there are many, many issues in digital sufficiency because uh, there are many, many issues in uh, digital, per se, uh, that, that there are are not being uh, explored today. So I explored some of them, but uh, this one, I, I, I have no answer now. I, I didn't see any, any study on this. I don't know. But it's, it's uh, we can uh, hope that there will be more studies on this kind of issue, because of course, decreasing uses Sufficiency, decreasing uses, is not so simple. Especially when you are in a digital lock-in. Of course, it's not so simple. That's why my first uh, measure is about the future. Not to, to not, uh, not, um, um, uh, deg degrade, degrade, degrade? Degrade. Degrade. degrade the situation with a heaviest lock-in digital locking. It's easier to not to do and not to be prisoner than when you are in the locking to get out. Just very short. Do you think we still cannot go to prison? Like I feel we kind of in prison already. I'm not sure about your last point. Do you think there is a real possibility that we can avoid this development? Pas très bien. Tu peux me, tu peux me On va éviter ce développement là. Ok, ok. The development of the like like 5G, 6G, you mean? Je n'ai pas bien compris la question. J'entends pas bien en fait. Le masque plus en plus il est loin. Tu peux t'approcher. Est-ce qu'à priori on peut éviter ce le développement actuel des technologies, donc le passage d'une technologie à l'autre, le technopositivisme Ah oui, d'accord, ok. Euh, well, is it possible to escape uh, climate change and uh, material shortage It's not, not so easy also. So, you look at the Bitcoin, for example, uh, the China says uh, Bitcoin finished. It's finished in China, and now it seems to be fi not 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 now, but it's discussed to ban it from uh, EU also. So it's not it's not impossible, and there, there has been a lot of critics on the 5G uh, deployment. And there was very few critics on the 4G deployment. It's increasing. <coughs> so it's difficult to know what's, what, what, what the future will be, of course. <laughs> but uh, if you see uh, social forces, the critique, uh, techno critique, uh, digital techno critique is increased in the past three, four years. When we uh, did our study in 2009, or 2006, nobody cared about it. We were the, the strange people. <laughs> I talked to the, to the uh, European, uh, um, the, the person who was in charge in the, in the digital society at the European level, the commissaire, and he says, uh, Mr. Flippo, you, you, are, you are working on a known problem. <laughs> That's when it was in 2005, 2006 or some, something like that. 
First, because, uh, okay, there are some waste, but uh, it will disappear. We will find solution very easily. <laughs> That, that's what the discourse in, the, in between 2005 and to 2007, as, as I uh, told you already, there was an increase on the public agenda, but a small increase, and now it's a big increase, currently speaking. There are a lot of laws on uh, stopping or reducing the digital footprint, and it never happens before. So the awareness, general awareness, increase, increase uh, a lot what will happen, it's kind of threshold effect, you see? <laughs> okay. So, ah. um, so uh, my question would be maybe a little bit basic, but I wanted to know, uh, so until we reach this efficiency in the digital energy relationship, um, like we, until this will be the case, we cannot just sit and wait, right? We need to do something. But consumers don't have a choice. So we cannot do anything about it from the personal perspective. And do you think that there needs to be like some kind of regulation of technological market, like in the meanwhile, like policies or something? And like if yes, then how radical should they be? Like for example, I don't know, in China they are banning video games for like certain hours in certain age groups. Like, and, and this is one of the most like energy demanding parts. So like, do we need some policies? What, what, what is the solution to this then, in the meantime? Uh, well, it, policies, it's the same thing. Uh, it's, it's kind of network effect also, because uh, an efficient uh, regulation is a supported regulation. It means that uh, a lot of people agree with the regulation. You can vote something at the National Assembly, but uh, if nobody agrees or uh, if nobody knows, even no, that's no, no, there's no effect. And there's a lot of, in France at least, a lot of uh, the environmental regulation which has no effect at all. Even if the um, judge knows the laws, there are contradictory laws, economic laws, and he the, the, the economic law all, all the time uh, above uh, environmental law. So you need a strong uh, um, support in your law if you want to have some uh, effect on, on the real effect on regulation, not only formal effect. So to, to have this support, public support, you, th that's why my measure is to, to strengthen the public support first, not only NGOs or, or technocratic regulation like uh, EUP uh, regulation or uh, eco-design. It's more to make people aware. And then they, they could, uh, they could uh, join some alternative uh, digital networks. For example, in, in France, we have a, a thing which is called the Framasoft, which is a, a kind of uh, non-GAFA non <laughs> internet with more simpli simpler uh, tools uh, which are less consuming. Uh, you can have uh, like uh, Linux uh, OS with uh, um, more simpler OS and, and so on and so on. There are alternatives, but there, there, there are, uh, these alternatives are uh, less used than the Microsoft or Apple. So the issue is to shift from a network to another network. But this is, for me, for regarding my study, it's, it's more, uh, it, I didn't go that much in, uh, into details. Uh, that's the general picture, but how, how to do it, with whom, it's, it has to be done. Huh? It has to be studied more than uh, that I know. I have a question. Last week we had uh, I had a, a seminar, and in this seminar they, they showed that the digital uh, footprint of the of of the digital uh, economy was much more relying on the material things. I mean, changing iPhone was a major problem, or changing phone was a major problem, while the uh, use uh, the streaming was not. Uh, I mean, the big part. I mean, it was like 80 percent for uh, building the create, uh, producing the material mm. and 10 to 20% for its use. So in that case, that would mean that uh, 
the regulation should uh, should be more on the I mean, renewal and the mm. production of those tools rather than the use of those tools. And also, the, if you take a very big screen, mm. it's not the same than a smaller one. And so, is, is, is the, the type of figure you have? I mean, is it consistent? I think Yere and and, uh, and Koran talked a little bit about that, but is it from what you've seen uh, in the figures like 80-20 or is it, uh, I mean... Well, I think it's 50-50, but the issue, the, the political issue is uh, 50 on producing, 50 on using. Okay. More, it, it depends yeah. on what type of uh, product. Yeah. For a, s a smartphone, it's, it's more uh, 90 producing, 10% 10, 10 using. Uh, and for television, it's more uh, 30 producing, 70 using. It depends on uh, what types of product, but oh, maybe it's 50-50 or 45-55, something like that. But the issue is, uh, I think, is more on, uh, okay, you can say that it, it should long a little, a little bit more, okay? But uh, the main thing is uh, if you need or not. <laughs> That's the main thing. Uh, after, if you need, if it, if it, if it consumes less and it's, long, it's uh, uh, longer life, okay, good. But do you need or not? That's the first thing. And if you, you need it, it's not, uh, it's you, you need the hardware because there are services. The hardware without services, you don't need. <laughs> so I think to, to put uh, too much the agenda on the material aspects is, is not a good idea. Maybe if you look at the figures, material, energy, okay, it's a big part, that's true, but from the need point of view, the sufficiency point of view, first is what is it for? So it's, it's more on the service, and to do the service, you need a terminal. OK. okay. See my point? No, so it's a little bit different. And mm -hmm. just to, to finish with it, industry pushes on circular economy on the point of view of recycling, material recycling first, of course. That means uh, you take it, you, tr you trash it, you get materials and you reproduce it. That's, that's the main conception of circular economy. For uh, another part, uh, NGOs, it's more uh, on uh, um, deconstructing it and uh, make it um, working longer, 10 years warranty, for example. That's, that's another point. But it's not, that's not about sufficiency, not really. It's always about material efficacy, okay, but it's not really about sufficiency. That's my, my point. Um, hello. My question was more about your last point when you said, what do we need? Um, so my question would be, how can we uh, involve democratically like civil consultations about what do we need? Because if not, we may like lead to a dictatorship of needs, like what Heller, I don't know if you know her, uh, wrote about it, like in a top-down decision, okay, we all use the car only once a week and maybe some cities, this makes sense, maybe for other societies or cities don't. So how do you imagine we can like do this process most, like democratically? Right, we, uh, all the time we, we are deciding both individually and collectively what our needs are. Depend on the scale, some part of our needs depend on, on the mod, modes of life. Repetitive, uh, I, I take the, the example, the, the, the same population every morning at the same time in the metro. The metro, it's, it's a collective production. But the behavior of one employee or one worker, it's individual behavior. So they are linked all the time. So opposing individual choice or dictatorship is kind of caricature which is not which is not happening in the reality <laughs> you have to be more uh, i will say uh, realistic about how needs are already uh, decided they are partly of individual choice it's what what i call uh, lifestyles this very small part 
of, of, uh, of the choice. They are more collective behavior, repetitive. Do you, want, do you need a metro or not, for example? Do we need a road or not? It's not an individual choice, a road or not a road. It's a collective choice. But the collective choice is conditioning, determining individual choice. For example, on uh, urbanization, when uh, you, you make, uh, when you enlarge roads, you uh, enlarge cities also. You know very well what will, what will happen. So if you don't want more cars, you don't enlarge roads. You see? So we have to be more careful, I think, on uh, how needs are already determined to uh, decide what on, on the good level of decision. Of course, at the state level, you will not decide what color you want on your house or in your room. Of course not. That's individual choice. But what kind of paints you have in the, in the shops, that's a more collective choice, and so on and so on. You see? You have to, to be more precise, more specific, more detailed about how needs are constructed. In, uh, in, the, in the economy or in society. But typically, uh, in, the, in, the, in the view of economists, sorry for economists, <laughs> there is individual choices and the state, nothing in between. What, what is uh, of interest for me is everything in between. State and individ individual choices, it's some extreme, theoretical extremes, which is not very easy to manage. <laughs> Either you say it's only individual choices, the consumers to, cho to choose, and that's not working, or the state has to decide and it's not working either. So I'm trying to, what, in what uh, I explain, trying to, to go in between M meso sociology, not macro, not micro. What's going on in between in real life? In real life, choices are not either uh, from the state or indiv individual. There are many uh, scales in between. So you have to explore the scales in between. And uh, the companies themselves, they know very well that it's, it's uh, something in between. Marketing is something in between. It's not, uh, it's not individual choices, it's mass choices. But mass in, in for a small public. It's not uh, when you want to, to sell something, you don't sell something to 70, uh, 70 million of French people. You target. Uh, same for uh, if we want to control our needs, then uh, we, uh, we must uh, control the right point, not individual or state. Many other, there are many other points. My, my, uh, bah, in the book, I give more details, but the key thing is arch architecture of choice. How do people choose? Marketing people, they look at how people choose, and they put the right thing at the right place, at the right time, to make it easier to choose their product or their service. And that's, in, in, that's the way the needs are evolving. You don't need a smartphone, but now you have a smartphone. Maybe uh, I give, I, if I give you, uh, when the iPhone was uh, presented at the, um, Las Vegas uh, Consumer Electronics Shows, Show in 2007. It was presented to the specialists of IT, the geeks, and they see the iPhone, they say, that's useless. This thing is useless. Don't you know that? You think that uh, when the, the iPhone was produced, everybody, oh yes, it's wonderful. No, no, no. When it was produced for the first time, 
For, tele for phoning, it was not very good. Application, the app, app on the UI. Everybody is, is using apps now, application. But at this time, there was no apps. So network good. It was a thing without uh, nobody for using it. So it was useless in 2007. I can show you uh, the témoignage, testimony, témoignage? testimony of the, at this time, in 2007-2008, specialists, IT specialists, they don't know what to do with the iPhone. And now, everybody has, because network good. You see? So you have to go deeper in this. The point you make is, uh, is I, I don't see how it's relevant to the sufficiency debate, because here we are talking about the systemic thing, where the choice we are able to make in this technology are just about small choices, because we have to adapt the new technology each time. So then, so then the point of the political agenda to enforce, for instance, a sufficiency path becomes relevant because uh, you need uh, a change in the system, in the economic system, or strong political act action that would make this sufficiency happen in order for it to happen. We cannot do it uh, as individual people or even at the major level that you're tackling. So then the question of this political process becomes relevant and the question of uh, of, of how we think about it becomes relevant because now my computer is, is providing me the option to switch to Windows 11. Now I can refuse, but I know that in six months I will have to. And it's the same for the example of the train. I can choose between eight and nine, but I'm not a worker, so I will not go up at seven because my work doesn't begin at that time. And you made this point before. I understand, but... Uh the point is, if you take example uh, that could be solved only at micro level or, or a state level, of course you cannot do nothing. But not every point I, are like this. I give you. The, the point I, was about the sufficiency and the, that. The I give an example. But I don't have a, an example in IT, but I give you an example in in agriculture. Uh, for sustainability, organic production is good. The state has, in France, has pushed for organic production. The big uh, trade unions of uh, farmers, big farmers, they push for organic farming, okay? They, they produce a lot of organic milk, but people don't buy enough organic milk, and there is too much organic milk in France. What do you do for this from the state level? What do you do? You have too much organic milk. You have, put, you have put rules to produce a lot of, of organic milk. Okay, good. They did it. Now the people don't buy. What do you what do? You, do? you say, okay, non-organic milk, milk is uh, banned. You have to buy milk at a, at a uh, high, uh, higher price and vote it at the assembly. Yes or not? Well, it's not, not so simple. Maybe the people think, uh, oh, I want to choose. Maybe. You see? So some, some aspect of, uh, of the choice uh, in our needs are relevant at the at, uh, individual level, and some other aspects at, are more relevant at the collective level. But I think it's, it's not a good discussion to choose between. Is, either individual or collective. You need both of them. You, uh, the point is how to identify what should be at the individual level, what should be at the collective level. That's, that's a better approach, I think, than not either either, but a more complementary approach. What is at the individual level should be more informed, my measure. People are informed that it will consume a lot, before, not after. To change the ar choice ar architecture. I don't know if I'm clear. That way, you can, needs are changing all the time. 
Look at how needs are changing all the time, really, not, not uh, with a bad theory. Look at really and make it changing in a different way, changing also, but in a different way. That's the point. Now we have a lot of instruments to increase needs very efficiently. It needs laws. It needs because uh, mayors, state, they have to authorize 5G, for example, to put uh, 5G into uh, in uh, in um, to, to build the in 5G infrastructure. You need a techno push from the state. Also, it's not a private. Uh, uh, initiative only. Far from that. It's private chaos. <laughs> but <laughs> this puts apart. You need, a, a, you need a push from the state to change the need. People don't want iPhone, 5G. Most of people, they don't know what to do with. If you look at in Romania, in Romania, they have a good uh, fiber network, but uh, uh, low level of use. The first reason is because people don't need. <laughs> they don't need. So the, the need has to be created. And either the state and, and the company, they know that the needs, the needs has to be created. The issue with sufficiency is to take control of this needs creation, to put it another way. But with some, some of the tools will be close to existing tools, but being controlled not by those who want to increase needs. How do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> As a <the> initial question. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, you can, in uh, IT, I give the example of, of uh, Pharmasoft. It's a question of, of uh, comment dire, rapport de force. Balance uh, of um, power. Hmm? Balance, of, balance power. of power. It's a question of balance of power. Currently, the forces uh, want to increase the needs for uh, some people because for some of them, the needs are increasing, but they, they are not uh, fulfilled. Uh, currently, the balance of power is in favor of those who are increasing the consumption. Uh, but if you look at uh, the three, at least in France, I don't know in other countries, but uh, two or three, depuis, since two, two or three years, uh, the question of sufficiency in every sector of the activity has climbed on the agenda everywhere. So at one point, I don't know when, it will be the problem we have to solve. Currently, it's a problem, we have to discuss about it. But at some point, it, it will be the problem we have to solve now. And so those of, uh, who want to increase the need, they will be the bad player. It's a question of bal balance of power. I, can, I cannot say you just have to do this, like a recipe, of course. Just to take some uh, lessons from uh, What's going on, on the, when, when needs are evolving in one direction, we can take lessons on, what he, on how we could be in another, in, uh, another dire direction. But in IT, my example, not, but maybe not so good, but uh, you can uh, take example in other, maybe in other sectors, in ha housing, for example, how to, a lot of people want individual houses, which are increasing uh, the need of cars, the need of roads, the need of heating, and the needs of how to shift from uh, need of individual houses to uh, maybe small uh, collective housing. How to shift from one to another. It's this kind of thing. It's not much more difficult to make people uh, to this, to, to, to shift well. If people have the, all the, the information to choose, it will, it's, it's one aspect of the problem. But I, have, I don't know how to, 
uh, I can give example, but only from, from the past. How to do in the future, it's a political problem. I'm not a politician. <laughs> Thank you very much, Fabrice.